Hey there, surgical trainees and aspiring surgeons. Welcome back to our comprehensive series on essential surgical skills. I am Dr. Strange and I am excited to bring you the third installment of our YouTube video series on suturing techniques. In our previous episodes, we covered the fundamentals of suturing, introduced you to various suturing materials and instruments. Today, we are diving deeper into the world of suturing where we will focus on advanced techniques that will elevate your surgical skills to the next level. So just remember friends, practice makes perfect. So grab your suturing kits, gather around, let's dive right into the world of advanced suturing techniques. Friends, I have requested uh, viewers on our app and on our YouTube channel that please share the uh, uh, pics of the uh, sutures that you applied on your uh, suture canvas so do uh, share your uh, pics so that i get positive encouragement that i'm able to basically uh, reinforce or i mean uh, motivate you into the right direction so friends before we continue i want to take a moment to share an uh, exciting announcement with all our surgical trainees out there if you have been following our previous video series on essential surgical skills, I have a great news for you. We have launched a comprehensive video series on many topics that cover a wide range of essential surgical techniques. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced trainee, these videos are designed to help you, sh uh, help you to sharpen your skills and enhance your surgical knowledge. If you haven't watched our previous video series yet, I highly recommend you do check them out. You will find a wealth of information that will complement what you are learning here and as a whole. And I hope all of you are aware that we have a dedicated app and a dedicated telegram channel uh, basically group uh, for the surgery trainees where we have around 6000 surgeons across the globe. So do uh, join our different platforms, follow us on our Twitter handle and uh, do join the Facebook page, Facebook group and download the app for a better learning experience. We covered basic technique from suture to advanced technique and we'll go up to the people. So stay tuned. So friends, to all my uh, dear friends, all my training and students on our app and channel, I want to embrace this uh, basically one character that is gratitude. So friends, gratitude is the best attitude to embrace, a, uh, embrace as a surgery trainee. Each opportunity to learn and grow, to witness the marvels of the human body and help restore health is a precious gift. Cherish this privilege of being a healer and let gratitude guide you on this remarkable journey. Having said so means, whenever you get an opportunity to learn from anybody, have a sense of gratitude and don't basically forget to thank him verbally or in your heart. Now, let's dive right back into our current video on suturing technique for surgery trainees. We have more valuable information and demonstration coming your way. So the first topic uh, that I want to introduce to our trainees uh, is that the rule of halves. So whenever you are suturing a long length of a wound, say uh, simply you are closing the skin wound. So friends, uh, just divide the length of the wound in two halves. And first stitch you apply is in the exactly in the middle of the uh, wound. Just follow this step and this is a very interesting uh, concept friends and as you grow uh, in your surgical career you will understand to avoid the undue tension at the edges and to have an equal distribution of tension this rule of half is a very good uh, suturing technique and I want all my trainees all my viewers to follow this uh, from the beginning only. So uh, after giving the first stitch, now you have two another halves. So again, uh, divide the wound length in two halves and come to the half. So uh, again, uh, remember that you don't need to apply too many stitches. Uh, approximately one inch to one point uh, two inch distance between the two uh, stitches is sufficient, and you keep dividing the length of the incision in these halves. And you will uh, realize that uh, there is a very good apposition of the wound and this can be interrupted or this can be a vertical matter suture which we have already discussed. So again a new half and uh, 
फ्रेंड्स दिस चैनल एंड मोस्ट ऑफ आवर वीडियोस आर बेसिकली फॉर समबडी हु इज वेंचरिंग टू द फील्ड ऑफ सर्जरी सो बी आवर द सेंटर ऑफ आवर यूनिवर्स फॉर आवर टीचिंग इज अ न्यू ट्रेनी हु इज जस्ट एंटरिंग टू द फील्ड ऑफ सर्जरी सो इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी अ सीजन सर्जन यू आर ऑलरेडी अ ट्रेन पर्सन देन दीज वीडियोज एंड दिस चैनल मे नॉट बी सो रेलिवेंट टू यू सो अगेन न्यू हाफ इज देयर एंड बी कीप एडवांसिंग अवर सूचर्स लाइक दैट एंड हाउ टू बेसिकली टाई द नॉट विद द हेल्प ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट हाउ टू अप्लाई द सर्जिकल नॉट हाउ टू लॉक द सूचर टू थ्रोज थ्री थ्रोज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू सो डू चेक दम आउट एंड बिफोर ज्वाइनिंग अ शेयर इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी वॉच दोज वीडियोज the next concept for today is simple running suture uh, i mean this is also uh, one good addition to the armamentarium of all surgery trainees so like you are suturing a long wound where you want to save that time then this is a very good suture uh, there are less less indication but uh, the results are equally good as we compare with the interrupted suturing techniques so the first suture is uh, simple i mean interrupted suture and we don't cut the long end and now we progress on the uh, bound length so uh, then like we entry and exit points are at the same point and in a similar way we keep progressing uh, how to enter the bound at uh, exactly at the right angle how to follow the curve of needle uh, that we have already talked uh, in the previous talks uh, previous two videos so uh, i'll skip that part and this is how we will keep progressing so this is very good uh, uh, again technique uh, although it is followed less but it is must to have in, in the armamentarium of all budding surgeons so like a way we keep progressing and good position and save time and last suture be apply the knot the next technique we'll share will be the next suturing technique will be simple running locking suture so friends it is a just a simple variant of the simple running suture but here we apply a lock between the two suture techniques so that uh, if somehow the suture get basically uh, i mean uh, uh, you divide the suture accidentally somewhere in the middle so the whole uh, length of the suture will not get loose so you simply uh, follow this technique you make a loop this c loop towards you and then you come inside the loop and it is the same technique which we follow while doing the lap suturing and one of your assistant has to keep this uh, thread under tension here i am using the pin for keeping under tension and you keep progressing again see that uh, again just notice that i am following this uh, loop and coming inside the loop and progressing uh, as required so again uh, for long suture especially uh, where it is a bleeding and you want a apposition you don't want the suture to get loosen then uh, this is a good technique like uh, you are uh, initially you are uh, suturing the scalp with a lot of bleeding then this suture is very handy again the entry and exit uh, here uh, for the sake of demonstration i am taking the bites to the two sides of the incision at the same time but it's not recommended and uh, you have to practice that you have to take one side at a time then come out on other side and uh, so uh, i mean uh, just don't follow this thing so the next part friends uh, will be subcutical suture again it is a very good technique and uh, here like uh, for the cosmetic result you don't want any suture mark we start with simple inverted or buried suture so we uh, that we have already discussed in the part 2 so uh, buried suture is applied near to the edge of the wound and then we divide the shorter end now we will basically take a bite beneath the knot so that knot get buried and will come out exactly at the end of this incision between epidermis and dermis so subcutaneous suture or the basically intradermal suture 
they are same suture uh, so uh, this subcutaneous suture subcuticular suture now uh, the technique or trick here will be that you start taking the first bite as close to the end of the bone and take smaller bites and for taking smaller bites i have already discussed that then you hold the uh, smaller uh, length of the needle closer to the tip that is one th anterior one third two third then you uh, keep progressing as you are near to the edge of the wound then you take smaller bites and as you progress then you can take bigger bite and again when you are approaching the other end then you have to take smaller bites so first worry not then come at the end and then we keep progressing so all the bites take smaller bites and uh, all the bites are basically through the uh, dermis or epidermis dermis junction don't take part of skin and again trick here is the next suture is uh, where you is your exit point so you simply uh, cross the suture to opposite side and where you have exited on other side that will be the entry point on your uh, for other side i hope you have got the point so like way we keep progressing and friends uh, just remember as you keep progressing keep learning you will find your your own unique way your unique rhythm and uh, you most of you will modify this technique according to your own comfort and your own experience and these uh, basically are your uh, basically starting point or a simple guide and then again you have to learn and do uh, better and better uh, than us and that is the basically whole aim of uh, teaching so like way now uh, we have reached the end of the uh, this boon margin so there are different technique now we will share all the techniques with you guys so one is that you then take another bite which is uh, take part of the subcutaneous tissue and come just at right at the corner of this boon and you take a basically apply a knot that you simply knot then you uh, come uh, beneath the knot and through the skin and cut the uh, basically this uh, thread closer to the skin so i hope you notice that we have simply applied a simple knot and then cut and another technique for you guys will be so when you have reached the end we don't apply any knot we simply come out this is i think this is called jet technique this is, then you take right uh, then again a bite closer to the skin and another bite closer to the skin so the sort of jet you make and there is no knotting here and it will hold beautifully and this is one of my favorite technique and it won't slip out if you uh, have followed this technique already another method of closer uh, for subcuticular technique will be you can simply apply a knot on this thread and pull the end closer to the wound and you cut it here so this is another technique and uh, it will automatically fall because most of the time here for the sake of demonstration we are using proline otherwise you will be using the monocryl so it will automatically fall another technique for you guys will be if you don't want to apply any knot then you start the uh, basic closer subcutaneous closer uh, from one end and uh, come through the normal skin and leave this short length of the suture then you continue this and the, suppose you have sutured the whole length and you come to the another end then again you come out of the this uh, another end and uh, keep a basically a roll of a gauze here for the sake of demonstration i am using this uh, basically sutured leaflet otherwise you will keep here a uh, roll of gauze and loosely tie this uh, two ends over this roll of gauze and apply the dressing and you can simply cut these uh, roll uh, basically suture after 3 4 days or 5 days and it will heal beautifully so friend just remember that every stitch you make brings you one step closer to mastery embrace the challenge embrace the journey and become the skilled surgeon you aspire to be don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content we will be back soon with more essential surgical knowledge keep refining those skills and until next time happy suturing